guys, what is up? It is I, the Concrete Catwalk. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I'm a reseller who loves all things thrifting, vintage, free love, you name it, selling nearly new. I love it. To my catwalkers, thank you for tuning in this Sunday. For those of you who are newly subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. We are growing and I am excited. Thank you for joining this journey with me. Guys, what I am going to get into today, a question that I wanted to ask you. But before I get into that question, there are a couple things that I would like to show you. The mini haul, and I, I don't know why, but I feel like preparing myself for the upcoming fall. Let's get into it. A couple of items came from Zara, and one of them came from Burlington. If there's a Burlington or Burlington Coat Factory, but I guess now they call themselves Burlington, if there is a Burlington in your area, I would strongly suggest that you check them out. The first item, this Michael Starr's pullover sweatshirt. This is called the Gigi. When I went on Michael Starr's website after I purchased this, retails at Michael Starr's for $98. I purchased this from Burlington Coat Factory for an astounding $7.99. I am excited to wear this for the fall. This is so cute. You might want to check Burlington Coat Factory where you can pick something up like this for a fraction of the price. Next item is this sweater from Zara. You guys know arch sleeves are continuing to trend and be on the fashion radar going into fall. It's puffy sleeves, it's power shoulders, strong shoulders, it's all there. I picked this up from Zara and I love this. Your arm goes to the sleeve and you've got these big billowy sleeves that look great whether you pair this with a pencil skirt or you put this with jeans, you put this with some type of slender or a slightly wide leg. This is going to look great doing it with. Perfect for when the weather starts to change and you need something a little heavier. Have a Zara near you, head in because typically their sales are phenomenal. This was $9.99 on their sale rack and I really like this. Perfect. This fall, it is all about capes. It is all about long billowy, whether you can poke your arms through or just drape it over you. It is about the cape. I pick this up from Zara as well. The way I am going to wear this cape, because it hits a little lower than mid thigh, and I am going to pair this with black tights as it ends up looking like a little bit longer than a mini dress would. I love how it looks. It hits at the right spot. Really excited to wear this. This was also something that I scored on clearance. There's two openings where you can slide your hands and your arm through. This, oh my God, you guys, I am so excited to wear this. I cannot wait. Can't wait to pair this with boots, pair this with tights. I am out the door and ready to go. That is what I wanted to show you. I have been on the hunt for a wallet on a chain from Chanel, and I've also been on the hunt for a vintage jumbo flap. As I've been going through and I've been looking, it got me to thinking about something because I look at a lot of bags because I like them. I look at a lot of pictures of people who carry different bags from celebrities, pictures that people post of themselves, with a particular bag, you name it. I love to look at people and how they carry their bags. There was a picture, and I am going to post that picture up, of Mary-Kate Olsen carrying the most distressed looking Kelly bag I've ever seen. And it was a conversation that I had gotten into a little bit off topic in one of my comment sections with one of my bags. Resonated with the commenter too, though the two people who commented, and I'm just gonna put it to you this way. This is about beat up bags. 
how you guys feel about beat up bags and what do you think they communicate by way of the person who carries it or the look of the bag. I'm trying to, to gauge it for myself, for some reason, that look, it just rings bells for me. I don't know why I don't like necessarily brand new new bags and this includes if I'm looking for something on the pre-love market I don't have an objection to buying a brand new bag I bought brand new bags new designer bags my uh, Kensington by Kurt Geiger the XXL bag is a brand new bag but to me it is just something about a beat up luxury bag that I just cannot get away from. I started reading about it and, and to f figure out what it was that people thought, how they were feeling, what did they think. And I came upon the topic and there were like little snippets about it. It was either the purse form or one of those handbag blogs where people talk about it. When we talk about carrying a bag, it's related to how you look. It's related to your appearance, what you express. People see it, if it's a designer bag, they may be able to tell what it is, they may not be able to tell, but nine times out of 10, looking at the condition of the bag, people, I think, try to put it together about where you're at or what you do or potentially. I'm saying that to say to you guys, when I see a picture of Mary Kate or a Kate Moss or somebody who's carrying a bag and that bag looks like it has been around the world. When I see someone carry a bag like that, regardless of whether they're a celebrity or not, to me, it just gives the impression that that bag is well-loved, well-carried, well-seasoned, well-flavored. Mind you, there's a distinction here. When I talk about beat up, I mean a bag that has the wear and tear of something that has been every place that that owner wanted that bag to be because they wanted it there because they really like it. I'm not talking about bags where the bag has done some traveling and it has ended up, and I'll insert a picture of what I'm talking about over here. And that is when a bag has been mistreated, where there's stains on it, um, I'm not talking rub and I'm not talking just from from daily use of it. I'm talking serious stains like the stain you see here on Mary Kate's Balenciaga bag. That is a horse of a different level when you're talking about a bag that has damage like that. Different. I feel that bags that show what they've gone through the fact that they've been carried, the fact that they've been well carried and loved, to me sets the example that that bag stands the test of time. And particularly leather bags. When leather bags end up with a look like that, when they end up out of shape or a little misshapen or you have maybe a missing grommet or you may have a zipper that doesn't work anymore, to me, I think that that adds so much character to the bag, which is why I typically am drawn to those bags because I feel like should I decide that I want to make changes to the bag, nine times out of 10, I don't. I err on the side of it is where it's at. The person who had the bag, carried it, loved it, loved it some more, and then decided that they didn't want it anymore. It's all a matter of perspective and degrees about whether or not a bag is or isn't broken in too much or broken in not enough. Two sides of the fence here. Some people are not about a beat up bag. They do not want a bag that is pre-loved, secondhand, whatever you name it. They have a million and one reasons why they don't want it. They're entitled to feel that way. However, on the flip side, there's also the argument for people who do like broken in bags and they do like the look where it doesn't feel like it's necessarily too, too, so much try hard. That's the side for a brand new bag that I always look at. I never felt comfortable with 
certain bags that were just fresh out the box brand new. Previously, when I was younger, I had a couple of Chanel bags purchased brand new at the boutique and they just never felt comfortable to me. It just, it, they never felt like they were a part of me. They always felt cold and new and like they needed something more from me that I just could not give. I could not give to them what they needed, which was to be showcased, carried intermittently. I am not that type of person when it comes down to the bags that I buy. And I, I wanted to talk to you guys about it because this has to do with something that I recently purchased and it is en route to me. I wanted to kind of soft walk it with you guys because this bag is a Chanel bag. It is not a walk, but it will be here next week. And I am going to do an unboxing of this bag and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. I want to know in the comments below how you guys feel about beat up bags in general. If you see someone carrying something and you're looking at the bag and you can see, okay, this bag has been well carried, well loved. What is your feeling about bags when they show that they have been around? What is your feeling when you look at a bag and you see that it has what I call some character to it, some seasoning to it, beyond patina, beyond just softening of leather. I'm talking bags that they show, they show you clearly what is going on with them and where potentially they may have been by way of what they show on their surface. You guys, that is what I wanted to pop in and talk to you about. Leave your comments below about how you feel about what those kind of bags communicate. Do you think that they communicate? Or do you think they communicate? Thank you so much for watching me this week. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you do not want to miss anything that I post, tap that bell and you will be notified every time I post a new video. The links to my socials will be down below. Check out my closet. The link will be below to my Poshmark closet if you'd like to shop it. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next Sunday. Bye for now.